All right, so <laughs> made it back home. I figured that since our hospital visit was kind of speedy, that this would be a perfect time to uh, try to do some of the gender prediction tests because we thought we was gonna find out the gender today and we didn't find it out. Nope. So, why we gotta not? do something. Yeah, we gotta do something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something gotta happen. We gonna go ahead and figure out some of these tests and see which one it's leaning towards. So, I should have grabbed a notebook paper or some kind of paper or something to tally up, boy or girl. All right, so this is completely unplanned. So, I'm looking on the website now and let's see what's the first test. Okay, it says you wrote boy or girl. Doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, he's just looking at me. The first thing says, if you're consistently reach out for meat, cheese, or salty food, then you are having a boy. According to this wise tale, yarn is sugar, spice, and everything sweet in the store means that you are having a girl. You're not really eating that yeah, much it, at all. It's, so it's hard because I would not say I have a sweet tooth. No. So, because of that, I would say a boy. Boy, one tally for the boy. He wrote the weirdest slash. Why you got? Why you gotta get on me like that? The weirdest slash. <laughs> why you gotta get on me like that? All right, that's one for a boy. According to the Mayans, gender prediction comes down to calendars and basic math. Just take a look at how old you were when you conceived, which I was 29. No, I was 28. How old you were when you con were conceived? No, when you conceived. Oh, uh, when you can see. I was 28. Yeah. Yeah, I was 28, not 29. 29. And the year it happened, which is 2018, if both numbers are odd or even, then you are carrying a girl. So they're e so, even. Yeah, 2018 and, and 28, 28 is even. even. So it would be a girl. One tally for the girl. One tally for the girl, one tally for a boy. For the old school gender test, you need a wedding ring. String it on a necklace or hold it over and hold it over your belly. If the ring moves in a circle, you're having a girl. If it's back and forth, it's a boy. Do they say if it's the male ring or the female ring? I think it has to be my ring. It's kind of my belly and you can't try to swing it. It has to do it on its own. Like this? What are you touching my belly for? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be holding on my belly and see if it swings. It's swinging. Um, I think it's swinging in a circle. I thought it was in a circle. If I raise it up, it's not swinging as much, but it's, the closer I get to your stomach, the more it swings. That's weird. It looks like a circle. I, I think it's a circle too. Circle to me. Mm, Goddamn, Poochie. You rude. You know there's a baby in there, Poochie, right? <laughs> You is rude. You know, like, <laughs> Poochie, stop jumping on my baby. <laughs> stop. <coughs> Go down. Poochie. You gotta be gentle. Go away. <laughs> down. Bye. All right. Two for girl, one for boy. The next one, you only need two pieces of information to determine the baby sex, your age, which is 29 in a month. Your baby was conceived. Your baby was conceived. Oh. Let's us calculate this for you. So, I am going to look at this. How old were you when you conceived? I was 28 and done. And then, when did you conceive? In June. Ooh, June. Printed it. Girl. It's a girl. Another one for a girl. <laughs> girl. Dang, that's three for girl, one for boy. Mm -mm. The that's, girl is winning right the now. The girl's winning right now. Try baking soda or salt. Put some baking soda in a disposable cup, then pee in it. Oh, man. If the baking soda fizzes, it is oh, a boy. You can also put salt on your breast before you go. No, no one do that. <laughs> So I guess I gotta pee in the cup. So I was trying to see how much acid you got in your pee. Yeah, I guess so. You've been drinking a lot of water? No. We're gonna use this glass because these are the only disposable cups we have. Liquor cups. Red Solo cups. <laughs> Let me see if I have any pee. 
first of all. If not, I probably gotta come back to this. I'll get the baking soda together. All right, y'all. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put in here, but we'll just start pouring. Don't ask us why we have baking soda just laying around, okay? All right, that looks like enough. Uh, so. I you think this is too much? No, I have a good lumpy. Oh, I can smell it. Ugh. You didn't have to let them know that. Oh. <laughs> I got a feeling I know what it what it's gonna do. <laughs> so, yeah, I smell it too. I'm dehydrated. Mm. So, I'm put it this way so you guys will see. So, if it fizzes, it's a boy. If it don't fizz, it's a girl. Might be a boy. I don't know. Yep. Before yeah. it just looked like bubbles, but now it's fizz. Yeah. So it's a boy. All right. So now the tally is three for girl, two for boy. Have someone tape a spoon under your, your chair. A fork under another without you seeing which is which. If you sit on the chair with the spoon, you're having a girl. The fork, it's a boy. Okay, we can do that. All right. You ready? Yeah. You taped it already? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't fall. So we gotta hurry up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you film and then I'll walk over. Alright you guys, so uh, I set up two stools here. Um I put a fork under one and a spoon under the other. Uh so what was the fork was a boy, right? And the spoon is the girl. And I don't even remember where I put the fork or the spoon, so it's gonna be a surprise for both of us. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Mm. <laughs> I would have thought you would have sat on the right side since you're right handed. The spoon is a, which one? Spoon is a girl. A girl. <laughs> so it's a spoon. It's a girl. I, was... I got a feeling this baby gonna be a girl. <laughs> I don't know, it's just. <laughs> I know, I looked at it, I was like, gonna sit over here, but I was gonna sit over here just to be different versus uh -huh. like what my initial thought was. My initial thought was to sit here though. Two for boy. Four for girls. Four for a girl. Don't say girls when you have a twins. Oh, sorry, a girl. <laughs> every pregnancy is unique, and so every pregnant belly, some mamas carry high, some carry low, and some bellies look different every day. According to the folk folklore, your belly can give you a clue if it's a boy or a girl. Carrying high, it's a girl. Carrying low, it's a boy. So I think this one's gonna be a tough one. Let's just see. Okay. So if I'm carrying more this way uh -huh. or this way. Yeah. So let's give all angles here. Okay. Can't tell because I can't see. I think I got an idea. So let me try to turn around. Uh-huh. And go to the other side. I, I can't tell if um I can't tell. It looks more like the the bottom part is out. So this looks more higher than out more than this. Yeah. I've been had this, you guys. So I think it's forever gonna look low. So I would <laughs> go with the low. Low, low. So we're gonna calculate for a boy. Oh, the boy on the comeback on the tally. All right, one for a boy. Girl is still in the lead with four. Uh, but it's getting close. Okay, this is the heart rate one. Heart rate. So it says if the baby's heart rate is 140 or above, uh -huh. expect a girl. Okay. If it's under 140, then expect a boy. And we went today and they said it was 142? Yeah, I believe it was 142. 142, so that would be a girl. <laughs> Another tally for the girl. <laughs> Every time the boy try to catch up, <laughs> the girl kind of. The girl just sprints. Mm -hmm. So we got five for the girl, three for the boy. Poor boy. <laughs> it says the baby sex can be detected by looking at the location of the forming fetus. You can usually see this between, between six and nine weeks. If the placenta is on the left side, expect a girl. If it's on the right, expect a boy. Let me go get the picture. We don't know if this is it. It does say well, so. That's the left side on the picture, but it's your right side. 
Okay, so hold on, wait, it does say something. Keep in mind that if you have a domino ultrasound, you will need to flip the image since it's from the outside in. So it says point out the bright area of the sack. Well, we can't, I don't think. So if we're assuming this right off of these two pictures, this looks like the brightest. So based off, it has to be between those weeks. Based off of this picture and we flip it, that would be our left side. What's left me? Girl. And that, I read the bottom of that, it said 97% accuracy. Is that what I read? I don't know. So how many is that now? Right now we got six for the girl and three for the boy. If you're suffering from morning sickness in the first 12 weeks, some say this predicts you're having a girl. If the sickness strikes a little later, some say you're expecting a boy. Some believe that boys make you sick in the morning and girls make you sick in the evening. But you kind of sick all the time. Yeah, but I would say mostly when I was like throwing up sick, 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 it's definitely, definitely e evening. Cause when you pick me up, it's all evening. Like mm -hmm. when I call you, it's like evening mm -hmm. problem. So I would definitely say that. And also I was sick in my first 12 weeks. So this says girls in the evening and first 12 weeks it's a girl. And that's true for both of them. So that is a girl. <laughs> Let's you see. might as well just call it. Throw, Hello. Throw in the flag. <laughs> If your right breast looks bigger than the left, then it's a boy. Vice versa, it's a girl. Hold on, guys. Look at him. <laughs> he has to tell me this. Yeah. <laughs> this my right, this my left. There, it's my right, but it's your left is definitely bigger. This one's bigger? What does it say again? So the left one bigger? I mean, not like definitely. It wasn't that much of a difference, but. But you can clearly see it was the left one? Yeah. You... So it's a girl on this one too? God, <laughs> just throwing in the towel is done, man. God, Lee. Nine for the girl and three for the boy. Some think that an energetic baby in the womb indicates a boy and a chill one is a girl. Definitely not chill. It's definitely not chill. <laughs> definitely not chill. Definitely not chill. <laughs> so that definitely leans towards a boy. Baby is moving all the time. Yeah, every time. All right, so we got one for the boy. Pick up a single key. If you pick up, oh, I think I remember something about this, Oops. but I don't want to read it. All right, got one for the boy. It's almost like a pity point. You want me to read it? No, don't read it, but look at it. I remember I had to pick up a key and based off of how I pick up it, it would tell you if it's a boy or girl. A single key. I don't know if you're gonna find a single key in there. Dang, so we got keys laying around here, huh? <laughs> well, I guess technically I just picked it up, right? Yeah, so hold that position right there. Cause I ain't think about it. I think if I pick it up again, I might think about it. You definitely pick up keys differently than what I do. But granted, this was the only part that was showing. Okay, hold on, it says pick up a single key. If you pick up the key by the top part, the round part, then you're carrying a boy. If you go for the narrow, bottom part then you're having a girl I don't think I ever pick up. if you pick up the key in the middle then you're having twins <laughs> pity points for the boy still still down by a lot so we got five for the boy and nine, nine, ten, nine. for the girl so that's 14 yeah it's a good one okay what you need me to do all right stand up don't tell me what to do or give me the results but show me your hands huh show me your hands Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. Stop right there. If you present them with palms down, it's a boy. If you have your palms up, it's a girl. All right, so it's a girl because you put your palms up like that. That was a good test, I like that one. Oh man, this might, this might call it right here. <laughs> That's 10. That's 10 and five, Jesus. Will you eat the heel of a bread? So I'm guessing that's the last like piece of bread, like the flat, crusty mm, piece. Mm -hmm. If you will, you're having a boy. I would not. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Nope. All right, another one for the girl, God. If your hair on your lace is growing faster than ever, it's a boy. 
If it's the same, it's a girl. It's the same. It's no different. So it's a girl. If your baby seems like to have a square skull, it's a boy. A rounder hair is a girl. They said something like the baby had my head. I think he said that. Yeah. But if you see the 12 week ultrasound, I think it's pretty round. It's just big. <laughs> yeah, it's a big head. Yeah, I would say it's pretty round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just call it, man. It's kind of embarrassing. Look at this. It's 13. It's, that's 13. 13. The boy only got five. I just wanted to see just what, what the tests be saying and stuff. But it looks like how life's looking right now. I may have my little girl. So fingers crossed. Yeah, I was already prepared for a girl like a long time ago. Like, once, <laughs> once I saw how this pregnancy was was starting to go, and you was getting sick all the time, I was like, gotta be a girl. <laughs> gotta be a girl. Be giving all this trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's a girl? What you think? Hi, huh, Pooh. What you think? Hi, huh, Pooh. Pooh, you think it's a girl? Look at me if it's a girl. Oh, she never looks at me. <laughs> she looked at me. Oh, she looked at me twice. Confirmation. Oh, see that's not ill. But yeah, so we've been thinking it's a girl and everybody tell us they think it's a girl. But you never know. So all signs can point to this girl and then be a boy. But fingers crossed that it is a girl because I do want my girl first. We've been been doing so much anticipation for a girl that I think it's gonna, it's gonna be like a devastation if it's a boy. Yeah, <laughs> like of course, like you know. Let's be serious, you guys. We'll get life together if it's a boy. But it's like our whole mindset and how things been looking and how things been treating. It looks like it's a girl and we always kind of had it back of our head. Like we never seriously even thought or fathom boy name. So it'd be kind of weird if it's a boy and I have to like readjust my thought. But you know, biggest thing is that we have a baby and that's number one. But yeah, right now it looks like a girl and that is exciting. But this little the game that we played made me feel a little bit better. The little makes oh. you feel better. Yeah, it kind of does too. It just gives a little bit more of an idea, I guess you could say. I'm glad we did this little test. I guess it gives us more uplifting feelings. I think that's gonna be all for this video. I don't know how long this gonna be, but we'll see. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Game coming right to your mama Just say free black young Lady woods in the morning R.I.P. your mama